is a station break. So this is uh, sort of coming to a close here. Jib hung. I have to do a little something with that, but not much. Got to be something like that. That's fine. I don't know where that was. Let's take that off of there. Now that we got the guy for where I want it. trick is seeing if we can keep everything where it is. Got most of the head rig done. Let me do something with the lure jib sheet up there. I gotta put a starboard whisker stay on. I got the bob stays on, head stays, fore stay, jib stay, jumbo stay, head stay, bob stays, whisker stay. I got a whisker stay to put on the other side of the bowsprit. I could do that right now. <laughs> Back to the wax. It's getting really small now. I've driven by the hobby shop. At least nearby it enough in the last two weeks and I should have stopped and got some. I haven't ordered any yet. You want to wax that little bit of twine there. Pick up the ball of twine. Some more shit off on the in the process. There we go. Put that on deck in case we need it. This thing needs an anchor. There's no anchor on deck. What's up with that? Oh, 
that's right. Got to put an eye in on this side for the whisker stay. So, let's see if I'll show you how I do this. I'm going to have to move the boat around. Or the camera. There's more light over here. We'll move the boat around. Hang that there. All right, we've got to be careful now. anything with it break anything you doing the railway there Yes, uh, break the blocking, break the blocking, oh good, we got a top mistake we got to do here too, put that through, that four top mist is a little warped, this is a little bit. Sort of unfortunate, but because the rest of the mass is in line, we've got to clamp. Let's clamp that so we can tie it. There we go. Okay. There. Now I'll show you. I got nothing over here. I put an eye on the port side over here to bitter end the whisker stay too. The whisker the uh, whisker stays are the side the sideways support for the bowsprit. The bob stays support it from pulling up whisker stays support it from four chips side to side movement okay I got my whisker stay here oh I gotta put in the eye remember I believe it's right there on the other side I'm going just above the cove uh, this is a jeweler's drill I'm doing it by hand I have power drills and jeweler's drills but Sometimes this is more accurate. Especially if you miss a little bit when you're getting started, which sometimes is a tendency. And all of a sudden you got 
two holes. The hole where it should be and then the start of a hole where it shouldn't be. I'm just going to widen that out a little bit. That's a small, what I call it's a pin vise. A little pin vise. With jeweler's bits in it. I have little boxes of different size jeweler, jeweler's drills. This one's actually a little small for what I'm doing. But I've been a little too lazy to go over there and find my other ones. Now I see a screw eye right there. I'm going to get that baby out of there. There's the eye. The trick now starting it getting it to hold as you start it without dropping it okay that's just a little screw eye there that yeah. We're just going to screw that right in there. Right down to the end where it comes together. It's a little bit tight. That's good. Finish it so it's fore and aft and not, and not plumb or up and down. Okay. All right, now I got a place for the whisker stay. What did I do with it? Did I drop it? What did I do with my whisker stay? All right. Plenty more where that come from, by glory. Plenty more where that come from, mister. Yes, sir. There it is. No. Is it? No. No saw. That ain't it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Sitting right there on my leg. <sighs> okay. Whisker stay. I've made a little... I up around the mask collar here. Got squished a little, but that still goes up through there. I'm gonna lead that up through there like that. Bring it back along there like that. I roll it together a little bit. See, that's where you wax. This is where wax also helps. Things will stay relatively where you keep it, where an unwaxed piece of line is, it's going to do what it wants most of the time. It's also slippery. I've said all this before. I shouldn't harp on the beeswax thing, but, but I do. Then I take this smaller twine, rather than make a big knot here, which wouldn't look too semen-like. Where's my, this is a scrap wax here. I even wax this little twine. Just run it through the beeswax a few times. Makes it easy to handle, easy to knot. Creates more friction when you tighten the knot it wants to stay tight rather than try to loosen itself okay all right now we tie basically what on a real ship would be seizing I'll put that one right about there
wax helps that too just makes everything work a little bit better cut that off my trusty twine I've had many many years that that little spool of thread right there is awesome for what I'm doing. It's strong. I've literally had it for 30 years, that spool. It was full on the spool out to here when I got it some 30 years ago. It's the only thing I use it for, this kind of thing right here. little seasonings double it I double this seizing tie it tight Cut the ends. Don't cut the knot you just made. I use these snub nose scissors. And they have less chance of grabbing something behind them. You're cutting something here. And if you've got long scissors, you have all of a sudden now you've cut through this, but you didn't see this, and the ends cut through this. And you know what I mean? So I use a short snub nose scissor like this. Much better. Much more gooder. All right, now the eye we just put in takes the whisker stay here. A little bit of strain on that. You don't need a lot of strain. The beeswax helps with that. Back to the beeswax. That makes it look. Now, this is where you have to be careful because I'm doing something that you shouldn't do. Reaching in through there with a watch on for another clamp. I'm going to pull that a little bit tight, put a little bit of strain on it. Clamp it. It's a little bit of a heavy clamp, so we don't want to leave it hanging there. We don't want to get that seized off. Tied off ASAP. I am seriously running out of wax. Damn it. This was a big hunk once. <laughs> That's about it. What's left? Hardly any. But I'm using it. Can't say I don't use it all. All right. I'm using my visor here. Seize it. Not that tight. I mean, knot it up tight. You know what I mean? Tie it tight. K-N-O-T. Knot it tight. Oh. I knotted that one a little too tight. <laughs> That's the spot where my dog got a hold of that spool once. Started chewing on it. So I still find parts in the in the twine where it breaks. <laughs> not this, not Cody, but that was Maggie. That's a long time ago. Snip. I'm going to take that clamp off because I got a knot there. I don't want a lot of 
of weight on this string. I want it to look tight. And here we go again. Another one. Another seizing. I just go around there. Overhand knot. Pull it up tight. Same overhand knot again. That's done. That's it. Took the bitter end off. Did that. There we go. Stabbed whisker stay. Being a decorative model, it did not ever didn't have any dead eyes or turnbuckles or anything like that. I'm just putting it back the way it was, the way it came to me with a simple little decorative rigging job to sit in my friend's office. What the fuck am I gonna do with that? What in the hell am I going to do with that? I know what I'm going to do with it. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Cut that fucker off and put a new one on. Put that in there. You got to rig a jib sheet. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm going to use this for. That might make a nice jib sheet. Maybe I saw. That can go there. Decorative model. Tie a bowling. Tie a bowling in that little bitch right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a bowling. We'll run that through the bullseye. Oh, see? Wax. Need some wax. Oh. The wax situation is pitiful. Here's a good hunk. Here's a good hunk. Here's a good tiny little itty bitty bit. That'll go there. That'll go through there. That'll come back here. Yes. We'll put that right through there. Like that. We got no belaying pins or anything, so we're gonna have to knot that off. I'll just make a little knot there. Keep it from coming back through the eye. Just around itself, almost like a stopper knot in the end. Yep, perfect. Perfect. This little project started out, you know, with a simple little. bow sprit head rig that's turned into a full rigging job so anyway there we have it let's knot this topmast off topmast stay not 
snap that off. Put a season on there. Yeah, so. Take that clamp off. Pull that tight. <clears throat> Snip that off. I really got. <clears throat> kind of too much time in here but it's for a friend you know Another seizing on the main topmost stay. Shroud, excuse me. Sorry, I know better. It's main topmost shroud. Shrouds go thwart chips, stays go fore and aft. Pete, Roger that. Snip the ends. Make the bitter end. Cut that off. Don't cut through the shroud you just put on. That kind of thing happens. Okay. That's good. I'm going to have to put slack way back stay here on this side what's this jib halyard hey, we're going to just end that since we ain't too concerned about There are no belaying pins on deck. There's really nowhere to lead it to down there. There's no, not even a rail. We're gonna just tie that off right up here. We're just going for basic illusion. Yeah, let's let everything sort of look like it's shit. That knot is likely to come untied. I would at this point say before anything else. I didn't really wax that piece of line very well. I could almost untie it with that alone, but we ain't gonna. We're just gonna leave that. Yes, like she looks. Yes. Now, triadic.
Two bigs. That'll make a good triadic stay. That's smaller than the other stuff. Take a hunk of that. Piece of wax. Gonna wax that up. This is a little, little different kind of net twine. It's not quite as black as the other. I like nice black net twine. No one's gonna notice. Try it next day. Yes, sir. 